blessings divine reflection welcome back to my channel it's such an honor to have you here thank you for being a part of the goddess divine youtube channel this week i thought it would be really fun to share my experiences of being a reiki healer and and explain to you also what a Reiki session looks like. If you didn't already know, I am a certified Reiki energy healer. I have been trained and also attuned to give Reiki treatments for the purpose of healing and alignment with one's ultimate state of being. I have been a Reiki practitioner now for four beautiful years. It's been an incredible journey. Reiki has led me to meet so many beautiful people that I've been so lucky enough to have had the honor to hold space for and share such a beautiful frequency that of pure light with these particular individuals if you haven't already you can check out my experiences getting physically attuned to reiki level one and two and what that experience was like because that video did so well i thought i'd share some more experiences in actual healing energy sessions now i won't be sharing explicit details so as to protect the privacy of my clients but i do want to share some general ideas of what you could expect if you are interested in booking a session with me the link for that is in the description i also have a membership page where i do monthly energy healing meditations with reiki that starts at just five dollars a month and you can click the link in my description for that as well or just hit the join button next to the subscribe button. And then I also have a list of my favorite wellness products down below. If you need some extra support on your journey, that's always in the description. And now that we got the intro out of the way, let's get in to my experiences as a Reiki healer. So during a Reiki session, whether that's long distance through video chat or in person, I will usually receive visions along with sensing a person's auric field and energy body. These are actually very powerful <laughs> and I believe Reiki activated my psychic awareness, my clear audience, and natural psychic abilities. From what I've learned talking to other people who have been attuned to Reiki and experiencing being attuned to Reiki with other practitioners, receiving intense visions <laughs> Uh, are not as common and some people who are attuned to Reiki don't even feel particularly connected to the craft or aren't able to sense energy as powerfully. I am a highly sensitive person <laughs> and have, you know, a high emotional intelligence and, and have considered myself an empath since I learned what that was so i believe that's part of the reason why i'm able to feel energy so strongly but yeah when i do receive visions there are almost always messages or little pieces of guidance that i am guided to then share with my clients if they prefer a silent session then i'll save the download the message for after the session or simply ask the client how they're feeling when i'm feeling into you know a stronger energy that i'm sensing in their vibration i'll usually feel this energy as a really intense vibration in my palms that is how reiki practitioners channel uh reiki energy there's an entire meditation that happens before a session is done to attune oneself to this 
source energy, this pure light that we allow ourselves to become a vessel for that gets channeled through us. If a client has chosen to have a more communicative session where there's more back and forth conversation, I'll usually go about describing what I'm feeling by first asking how they are receiving the energy. Because although the energy between the Reiki practitioner and the client becomes synced, during a Reiki session, both the client and I may be having completely separate experiences. So while I'm receiving messages, downloads, and seeing visions, right, seeing into a person's energy field, they also may be having visions as well, especially if they themselves are a highly sensitive individual, have been perhaps walking a spiritual journey for quite some time and have attuned themselves to perceive a higher level of intuition. I like to leave five to ten minutes um, for just discussion at the end. And I've heard clients describe these visions as ranging from seeing colors washing over them in their mind's eye, right? Or perhaps experiencing the light in the room get brighter. Um, as their eyes are closed and in this very meditative state of being, which is either on a chair, lying on a Reiki table, or through distance healing, some comfy area in their home. Clients that I've had in the past have also described more intense visions like being lifted out of their bodies or their consciousness somehow leaving their physical body and entering higher dimensions. <laughs> Again, sometimes these visions are shared, sometimes they're having an entirely different experience from the one that I'm having being the healer. As the healer myself, the visions that I receive are always of the person's spirit body. A person's spirit body shows up sometimes in this very astral space, what some might call the zero point energy field or uh, the Akashic records, right? I sort of see them in this dark blank space and will work on their energy body in this space. Um, but sometimes I also get visions of a person's higher self and the higher self takes on many different forms. Other times, I will just be sensing a person's energy. My intuition, my hands will be naturally guided um, to the area in the body that needs the most healing. I used to primarily use the technique of beaming which is performing Reiki with the hands hovering over the body rather than laying hands on the body. However, along my own healing journey, I became aware of how profoundly important touch is to healing the physical body. So now I offer a hands-off session and also if the client is comfortable also offer obviously the traditional hands-on technique of reiki of course in the most respectful way as possible while the session is happening i'm feeling a client's pain their pain becomes my own i'm taking on their experiences and their their memories but i'm also feeling into their potential right because in sickness there is health any blockage in the body has the capacity to be removed and once these blockages are removed the energy is able to flow much more harmoniously in and around the body allowing for the release of pent-up emotion. This release can, you know, come in the form of tears, it can come in the form of a realization that a client has about a situation. Sometimes the realization doesn't come until days later, days after, in which 
in which case I encourage my clients to email me and tell me, you know, their experiences of Reiki as their life moves forward. I love seeing changes that a client makes, you know, with every single session. Also, what I've noticed is that those with a intense physical ailments because the energy is so dense in those particular areas is that those people will need most will need multiple sessions over time you know a reiki session isn't a quick fix it's an incredibly deep purge the journey to healing <laughs> isn't ever going to be quick and so you should not expect that when going into a Reiki session although the effects of Reiki are seen immediately after after a session is complete customers will always experience this sort of Reiki glow <laughs> you will actually see your aura manifest itself your energy will be visibly brighter and you will walk away from a Reiki session feeling happier and lighter. I want to read this quote from this really beautiful book uh, about shamanism and healing and how and how transpersonal energy work is affected through the use of inducing visions. <laughs> It's called Imagery and Healing, Shamanism and Modern Medicine by Jean Achterberg. I thought this quote described the experience of a healing container really well. The clairvoyant reality, according to Lashan, is reached by means of prayer or techniques of viewing the healy from a spiritual perspective or some other technique, such as meditation, which alters the state of consciousness. The healer doesn't try to do anything to the healee. He or she merely tries to unite, merge, become one with him or her. Deep, intense caring or love focused on the healee is described as the heart of the healing mechanism which I just think is so, so incredibly beautiful. This book is full of beautiful accounts and descriptions and also tries to provide evidence for how shamanism um, could be viewed in the West or how to view shamanism through the lens of the Western world. For those who are on a journey to becoming healers themselves, I would highly recommend this book. I also want to mention that even before a session begins, even before booking, the intention to be healed is an incredibly powerful one. And already aligns you to be the version of yourself that is in alignment. I think also because my intention to heal others is so strong that when a client does book a session with me, I can feel their energy shift in that moment. <laughs> So that's what you can expect if you ever decide to book a session with me. It's a really beautiful and profound experience to have and to share. Check out the blog to learn more about the step-by-step -step process of undergoing Reiki. Join my membership page to get those monthly energy meditations with Reiki. Shop the wellness products and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Thank you so much for tuning in.